More. James Aldworth is Chief of Communication at UNICEF in Juba and he joins me live now. Thank you for your time. Firstly, can you tell us more about these children that have been released from the armed groups? Yes, of course. Thank you very much for having me today. Um, so this is the second release that we've organised this year um, in 2018. Um, 200, uh, over 200 children were released yesterday. Um, they're from two different armed groups um, uh, based down in Yambio in the south of uh, uh, South Sudan, basically. Um, so they've come from two armed groups. There's about 95 girls amongst the 207 children that have been released. Um, and, and yes, we've, uh, we, for us, this is a very, very exciting day and a, and a really good piece of news to come out of South Sudan. Uh, and here at UNICEF, we're very happy about this release. Yes, yeah, so very good news indeed. But as we just mentioned, uh, up to 19,000 children are still rebel fighters mm -hmm. in South Sudan. It's, it's an alarmingly high number. I mean, what's being done to make sure that all of these children are freed? It is. It is. Uh, it, it, it is absolutely true. We estimate there's still another 19,000 there um, uh, associated with armed forces. But I can tell you now that UNICEF, we're going to continue to work with our partners, um, the UN peacekeeping mission here, UNMIS, and also the National um, Disarmament and Demobilization Reintegration Commission. Um, it's a very, very long and meticulous process to arrange for these children to be released, but. There's going to be approximately a, a thousand released over the, the beginning of this year. Um, so, you know, yes, I agree, there's definitely more work to, to be done, but, um, but we're here, we're going to be staying, and, um, and for every child that's uh, released, um, that's a new life that's beginning for them. And we know there was a lot of jubilation when South Sudan eventually won independence, but since then it's been racked by civil war. I'm wondering if you could update us on the status of, of the conflict in South Sudan at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to get too drawn into politics. Um, UNICEF is a humanitarian organization, and our first and foremost, our, you know, our obligation here is to the children of South Sudan. Um, I think, I you know, you're, we're all be in agreement that the situation remains here very fragile. It's very fragile. Uh, the political uh, situation, but but we we are continuing to work with our partners, like I said, with the with the UN peacekeeping mission, and also with the government, and obviously negotiating with the armed groups themselves, just to make sure that they uphold their commitments, which they've made in recent peace agreements, and also their commitments under international law. Um, so UNICEF will continue to advocate to make sure these children are released, and to make sure that no more. Are, uh, are recruited to these armed groups. Okay, James Aldworth in Juba, thank you again for joining us.